Well, good Thursday to you, and glad that you joined again for this time of encouragement and prayer. Prayer is really an incredible thing. Uh, God gave us this ability to communicate directly with Him in spirit and in truth through the power of the Holy Spirit by praying. You see, when we pray, we join our Heavenly Father in looking at life from His perspective. When we don't pray, we choose to be satisfied with only what we see and know in our own human wisdom. When we pray, we are granted the eternal wisdom of God. When we pray, faith in God grows and it will turn our fears into faith. I like to use the Psalms as a guide to prayer. So many emotions expressed, so many ways to communicate with God about the things that are going on. And so today, I'd like to just take a moment and encourage us by praying through some verses in Psalm 40. Listen to these words and then listen as we pray together. Verse 1 of Psalm 40 says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He inclined to me and heard my cry. Father, thank you so much today for hearing us when we pray. And I pray that you hear us ask you for your glory to be done. That in all that is going on around us today, we would see your hand upon it. Thank you for inclining to us and hearing us. Amen. Verses 2-3 to three of Psalm 40 say this, He drew me up from the pit of destruction, out of the miry bog, and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Father, thank you for the song of joy that you give us, even when everything around us is so sad and hurtful. Thank you for putting our feet on a rocky place, the foundation of Jesus Christ, so that our steps every day are secure. And I pray that people will see the joy and the hope that are in our hearts and that they too will turn and put their trust in you. Amen. Verse 5 tells us that we that uh, God, David, is directly speaking to the Lord here and saying, You have multiplied, O Lord my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts toward us. None can compare with you. I will proclaim and tell them, yet they are more than can be told. Father, you have done great things. And we believe you'll do even greater things. Show us your greatness and reveal your greatness to this world that you are in control. We turn to you today for all of our strength and all of our wisdom and we ask you to reveal who you are to this lost world and that people's hearts will be drawn to you. Amen. Verse 11, David continues in Psalm 40, As for you, O Lord, you will not restrain your mercy from me. Your steadfast love and your faithfulness will ever preserve me. Father, thank you that your mercy is not withheld. Thank you that your grace is being extended every day. Thank you, Father, that during this time of suffering for so many people and fear for so many people, wondering what's going to happen and if they're going to be next 
to develop this disease. Father, we thank you that your mercy is being extended and that if people will turn their hearts to you, they will find the answer to life's questions in Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that this a hardship will turn into a harvest and that we will see the glory of God in this place. Amen. The psalm closes with these words. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say continually, Great is the Lord. May all who seek you. Did you hear that? You're one who seeks Jesus. You're one whom, to whom God is being good. His mercy is being extended. So let the gladness of who God is spring up in your heart today. And let your words, your communications, even your thoughts and meditations, start with these words. Great is the Lord. Let's close in prayer. Father, thank you for leading us in this understanding of how to come into your presence and see life from your perspective, not from ours. Give us a higher view by looking down on what's going on the way you do, knowing that you are in control and you have not missed one thing. Father, may our day today be further evidence of the greatness of God so that we boldly and loudly proclaim, Great is the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, in your name. Amen. Just a note, be watching on our all of our different resources, whether it be Facebook Live, our Calvary website, the Roku channel, the YouTube channel for Calvary, the Vimeo channel. All of those will have a weekend worship service posted to them by Saturday evening, so you can choose your family time of worship. And don't forget to continue to pray for God's grace and blessing upon this church as we continue to reach out to the world with the gospel message that Jesus saves. God bless you.